What is up guys, I am Sam, welcome back to Louisiana. So today, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the GoPro Hero 7 Black as a webcam. Yeehaw! All right, so if you've tried using a GoPro for a webcam before, you might have ran into the issue of there being about a two second delay between the video and the audio. I'm gonna be showing you how to fix that, and let's get into the video. All right, so I'm going to be showing you all the settings you need to change to get your GoPro to be a webcam. Some of these settings, if you don't change them, there will be about a two second delay between your video and your audio because the GoPro is processing a lot more than it needs to be and there's a little bit of lag. All right, so the first uh, setting we're going to change is we're going to go under preferences and general. So under general, we are going to scroll down and we're going to go to video compression and we're going to change our video compression from H.264 plus HVEC to purely HEVC video compression. And then we can go back and then we'll scroll down to input and output and we will change that from media to live. Now some GoPros I think are automatically set on live but we just need to make sure it is set on live. Because if you are set on media, it will be displaying all the camera settings instead of just a clean output. We'll then go back to our main uh, screen here and we will click on these settings. We will turn stabilization off. This is actually one of the biggest settings you need to change. The changing the H.264 and HVEC only slightly reduces the lag, but this will take care of most of it. After that, you can set all your other settings like your resolution and your frame rate and your shutter speed and your white balance to what you want to be. Protein being on or off does not affect any lag in the webcam. So that is what you set your GoPro to be a webcam, and I hope that helps you guys. So once you have changed the settings on your GoPro, you need a video capture card. So what a video capture card does is it takes the video feed from a camera and turns it into a webcam feed, a live video feed that your computer can read as a webcam. Uh, to connect these, you notice this capture card has a HDMI input. And then my GoPro has a micro HDMI output right there. So I have a cable, it has a uh, micro HDMI end here. We can plug into the GoPro. And then it has a large HDMI end that can plug into the capture card. And once we do that, my computer will recognize this GoPro as a webcam once I plug this USB port on the capture card into my computer. All right, so I have my GoPro connected to the uh, cable that goes to the uh, capture card. If you notice, the GoPro displays this little symbol on the front screen, that means it is sending out a live video feed. I have OBS launched on my computer, and you can see when we move the GoPro that you have this webcam that has almost zero delay from uh, the actual camera movements. It is a couple milliseconds, but that is kind of what you expect, and the audio does sync up. So that is how you use a GoPro for a webcam. It's actually a massive increase over a built-in webcam on Macs. On some uh, video platforms such as Zoom, it will compress the video and it doesn't look as good. But if you're actually using a webcam, like a Discord or something, the video feed will look amazing out of the GoPro. And you can see right here that we can use a GoPro as a webcam and it will actually look really good. So that is how you do it. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned anything or figured out how to use a GoPro as a webcam, please comment down below if it worked. Share this video with your grandmother and all your GoPro and webcam friends, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.